morning everyone it's lucky down in a western paddock and what i'm doing today is i'm going to plant a couple of tomato plants and i've got you leaning up against a bag of blood and bone because i need to use my phone so what i've done so far is i put my trellis in this year i want to try a different way of growing them i want to grow them up a trellis rather than either tied to a stake or using one of those tomato circle wire thingos or whatever they've got a name for them now I've got two tomatoes. Now these tomatoes were gifted to me yesterday at Father's Day from my daughter's in-laws because I give them a lot of stuff from the garden to eat and also any leftover veggies that I've got that if, I've, if they do really well. So what I've done is I have just dug my hole and I'll bring it up close for you can see what I've done I've taken off a lot of the base leaves because I'm going to bury it deeper than what it is in the pot so I've cut all these ones off and just left the top bit and what I've got to go in the soil it's some aged cow manure a bit of blood and bone and this this is my secret weapon my worm castings now I don't have a lot in there just enough for a couple of plants and I put it at the base and then that way it will feed them so I'll just take it out very carefully it's got good, good root structure we're going to plant it down so I need to dig it a little deeper so there we go bank it up and it's quite high I'll show you in a minute so I'm going to do the other one put those castings in better put my name tag in I suppose so I know what it is this one is called um, tomato first prize I'll move you around and it is first time growing it so once again I've done the same thing to this plant and I'll just get the plant out Another one with a great root system. Put in the worm castings. We'll just backfill it. And then I can give it a good drink. And I'll mulch it afterwards. So I'm only going to put one tag in because they're both the same. So hang five seconds. Okay. Sorry I'm not a professional as some people. Um, but at least I'm showing you. So I'm going to now. So there you go. So I've got my first two tomatoes in for this season. And what's going to happen is... And this one's already got some flowers on it it's as it grows i'll then go to two main leaders vines up here or stems and then as it gets higher and higher i'll open it up a bit more and hopefully i'll get more tomatoes on them than what i have in the past years so though last year was a really good one so what i'm looking at doing is growing them there this side seriously Matilda hang on a minute hush up anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to on this side to free that up nice for the tomatoes I'll grow some capsicums and this one gain two tomatoes on this side when the collies are finished and here might be basil growing i need three maybe four beds so we'll see how we go and what i also did was just clean the weeds up around them giving them to the to the girls and thor i need a bigger bag of blood and bone for the rest of the sewing and then that's what should with the rain not as abundant maybe as what it was over winter should keep it tidier so there you go. 
hopefully this will be a good bar growing them and if it is I'll continue each year I might still continue even if it's just an average year just see how we go and go from there so my next job is to put a garden bed together when I've just finished this little area off check my cauliflowers re-peg them and go from there so that's what's happening here in Lucky Land today in my western paddock and um, catch you next time bye